So a while ago I posted a video on how to make a multi-select drop-down menu in Excel and that video got lots of views and lots of comments as well and there were two prevalent issues that I saw in the comments that people were facing with this, uh, with this Excel file. Uh, number one was that when you make a multi-select drop-down, if you want to remove a value that you've selected, you weren't able to do that from the previous video. And the second comment that was most popular was that what if you want to apply the multi-select drop-down to multiple cells in Excel? So as promised in my comments, this is a video that's going to address those two issues. And I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, remove values that you've selected in a multi-select drop-down. And I'll also be showing you how to apply the VBA code and the data validation to multiple cells all at once. So in my example here, I have a list of employees and a list of activities, and we're planning a corporate team retreat, so an employee uh, get together. And I wanna be able to select various activities that each employee wants to do. So beside each employee's name, there should be a data validation list, and that list should contain these values. And the employee should be able to select which activity they want to do, and they should be able to do multiple activities. And once they make a selection, if they wanna get rid of that value, they should be able to do that as well. And again, we're gonna be applying this to all of these cells for each employee over here. So let's get started from scratch, okay? So the first thing I'll do is I want to insert the data validation drop-down menu beside the first employee, so Aisha Khan. And these are the activities that should be available to her. So I'll go into data tab, into data validation. I'll select a list and the source of my list will be these values. So from cell E2 all the way down, because I might add more values to this list later on as well. Now I'm gonna hit control and home, which is gonna take me back up to my Excel file. And I can see that there's this data validation list that's going on over here. And I'm just going to call this uh, activities. Okay, so now if I add more activities to this, so let's say I add, for example, um, baseball. As you can see, if we go into the data validation, baseball is on the list as well. So this is a dynamic data validation that we've added. Now, again, we want to be able to have this data validation for all of these employees. So I'm going to go here click on blank, so there's a blank value showing, and I'm gonna drag this data validation down to all employees, okay? So now we can go back down to any employee, and all these options are available to them as well. So now we've solved the first thing, which is adding the data validation to multiple rows, but now here's the challenge. How can we get the multi-select dropdown going, and how can we apply it to the multiple cells? So. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be using a VBA code for this, which I will be listing in the description of the video. So please make sure you copy and paste that code to your Excel file. So I'm gonna hit Alt and F11, which is going to open the Visual Basic as an editor. And um, after that, I'm gonna go into my sheet. So my sheet is activity registration, this sheet one. So I'm just gonna double click it so it opens up and I'm gonna hit Control V to paste in my code. Now, there are a few changes that we need to make and you can see that the data validation is in cell B2 all the way down to cell B21. So I'm gonna go ahead into my Visual Basic and I'll select B2, I'll put B2 over here and B21 over here. And I'll do the same thing up here, B2 to B21. So these are the only things that we need to change within the VBA code. Everything else stays the same, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control S, okay? And I want to save this workbook as well. And I'll hit Control S once again, just to make sure it's properly saved. Then I'll hit Alt and Q, which is going to close my um, VBA editor. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and select the activities for employees. And as you can see, we're able to select multiple activities per employee. So I've selected for Aisha Khan yoga, team building challenges, and let's select golf as well. Now let's say we want to go back and we want to remove uh, yoga. So I'm going to click on yoga here. And as you can see, it's gone. Okay. And we can do this for any employee down. So let's say I'm going to go all the way down to Omar. I can go ahead and do the same thing for him as well. And we can remove values as well. So those were the two main problems that you all were facing was implementing the multi select drop down to multiple uh, rows and multiple cells in Excel and being able to remove values once selected. So this video addressed those concerns for you. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please do subscribe. It really helps a lot with the channel and it motivates me to continue making videos for you. Thanks so much and I'll see you shortly on the next video.